Welcome back everyone to our gameplay series of Farm Manager 2021. And in today's video, we're gonna make some changes to what we had talked about doing uh, from here going forward. Uh, we had talked about doing pigs over on this half uh, of the top portion of the land. Remember, we haven't touched anything down here at the bottom. And of course, we can always uh, purchase more land. But in order to get to the pigs, at least to the area where I wanted to have them, we were going to need to do a little bit more training. Uh, so right now, our research, we're at 83% on the faster reproduction. Then we were going to go into uh, the third level of building for pigs. All that is perfectly fine. Going to take us a little bit more time there to finish up our current research and then a couple of months for that research. All of that is fine and good, but there's something else that I really want to try. And the more I thought about it after recording the first few videos, the more I thought, why not try it right now? Because it's something I haven't done before. And that is fish. Now you notice that the fish here, as we scroll across, there's only one level for the fish. There's not the small, medium, large that you have to unlock through research and all of that, like we've seen with the other animals. Here, there's only one fish farm. Now if we, oh wow, look at this. This is huge. This is, well, no wonder there's only one level. If this would have been the small, then I can't imagine what uh, medium or large would look like. Okay, so this is, let's go ahead and, uh, is this gonna fit in our grid system? Um, it is not. We're gonna miss it by one block. Okay, so again, this is sort of where I really wish we could have placed this ourselves or move it up out of the way because it is not helping me at all where this is at. So we'll go ahead and we won't worry about that anymore, but I do need to get rid of these. All right, so now we have a fresh grid. So let's go ahead and put down, uh, what do we think, three? Can we fit three of these on here? I believe so. Now, I don't want to get us stuck here, so I do want to create a new grid system. So let's go ahead and put down three of these. Yeah, that's going to make our grid look just a little weird, but that's okay. Uh, not the end of the world. I mean, what is it really going to hurt? Uh, and the answer to that is really nothing. Unless you're OCD about your grid system, you'll be perfectly fine with this. And if you are OCD about it, then I apologize. All right, so we've got those three growing, going down. Now, we know automatically that uh, we're going to need workers and I'm guessing it's kind of like the cows, only one worker. That's a guess. But either way, we know we're going to need to put down some more housing for our workers. So we need permanent housing. And I'm going to put this guy, we could put it, uh, can we put it right there? Actually, probably yes. But it might mess up our grid system a little bit once we start expanding. So we'll just put it down here. And then the other thing is, uh, we've got a barn and a warehouse right now, but of course, this warehouse is for grains, and then of course you get into grass, hay, and that kind of thing. Uh, we're probably not going to need that for the fish. I got to think the fish are going to be eating stuff that's going to go in a silo, maybe? Let's take a quick look. Warehouses. So it's either a silo, of course we know we're not going to need that for the manure. So a barn is going to keep hay and straw, and some of the dry goods, and then warehouses. I, I just got to think it's going to be in this silo. The good news, the large silo is only 10 grand. It's got a 50,000 capacity, uh, similar to what we saw with the barn. Okay, so we'll hold off on that for just a second. And I'm going to wait and see what kind of food the fish need, but I got to think it's going to be that silo that we're going to need now. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Oh, no electricity. Okay, so that's another thing we're going to need to do real quick. All right, a transformer. So, all right, what do we need? Where can I put this thing? I can put it right here. I can put it right there. All right, let's do... I'm going to try to keep it on this, on just the top end as much as I can of the road. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to leave out an area right down here. So I may have to just sort of blow this whole grid I've got going for the electricity up a little bit. How about that? 
and we'll connect it right there. Okay, there we go. Workers. Uh, we don't know how many workers we need just yet. I'm guessing three. Uh, but we're going to let this continue on as here we go. I knew it should be about time. Okay, so as this happens, now, you notice that uh, what we've been talking about across the top here uh, still holds true, but we're running out of room here. We have room for maybe one more uh, to fit in here. So at this point, we have been doing the auto trading of the cheese and the manure to the point where I'm satisfied that it's being taken care of. So I am going to right click on these and remove those. The milk you notice that we've got quite a bit of inventory and I've left it up here just for that reason because I didn't want us to sort of overdo it with the processing but at the same time um, I didn't want us to leave a ton of milk in inventory and that kind of appears like what we're doing I mean we've almost got 25 grand here which means that we could do more milk processing but for right now we've moved on from that uh, doesn't mean we can't come back to it but let's take a quick look at what we have in each of our facilities and see how low that or how much inventory they may have. So here we've got about 17 to 1800. Here uh, almost 13, 1600, 1600 again, and 2000. Okay, they've got plenty. So nobody's running low at all because remember, each batch is only 250. So at any point, even the low ones that are what, 13? 1400 have many cycles left so with that in mind we can sell this off again we could build more processing and do it that way however let's go ahead and just for right now let's just sell off the extra and for that we can come back into the trade screen and we're simply going to add it in here and so let's go ahead and add a trade item uh, let's go cow milk and here we go at the top and I'm going to leave about I'm going to leave about five grand in there. That should be really high uh, as far as the number on that. But I'd rather leave it a little high and miss out on a little bit of revenue than to sell it off to say maybe 500 extra and then we start running low in our processing. So 5,000 is perfectly fine there. And sure enough, there you go. We see that it already got sold off, so I'm going to get rid of that. For now because I'm guessing we're going to need uh, some new items in here at least for the time being all right actually I mean realistically we could get rid of all these but we'll do that maybe a little bit later we'll see how this goes with the fish so we hop in here first thing we're going to need is just one person okay so let's go ahead and hire our people we'll get that done first uh, and we're looking for as far as I know they're just considered animals they don't have a special type so what I'm going to do, without spending a whole lot of time in here, I'm just going to see what we've got. All right, so there's an animals. Of course, by now you guys know exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, best case scenario is animals and then endurance. I'm not seeing that. I'm not going to pay a whole lot of attention to the price. We're just going to look for the animals. And there we go. All right, so there's our three. So we're going to hop over and there we go. Let's get all three of these maxed out. Uh, almost did the orchards there. That would not have been good. That would just been wasting money. All right, there we go. So then we'll come in. We'll assign each of these folks their job. And now we're ready to get down to business. Okay, so what are we going to put in here? We've got two options, carp and trout. All right, let's hop back out for a second. Carp and trout. So if we come in here, so carp, carp meat is, we can sell for three fifty five. dollars So that means that we'll need to have a slaughterhouse for that. And then frozen, oh, look at that. That is huge. Twenty six thirty five. dollars Okay. All right, I like that. Now let's look at trout. What do we have here? 352, so pretty close to the same. Uh, and okay, that's not the same. Look at the difference here. That is huge. Now, this may not be apples to apples though, uh, because you may not get the same amount of meat from each of these fish. However, 
I'm just going to go trout because when we freeze this thing, uh, that I got to believe that that is wow, that is a huge difference. So trout it is. All right, so we want trout, and I'm going to do a little experiment here. I want to see if the breeding is actually working. So I'm going to just fill up half. You could certainly go a lot more than half. But we're just going to start out with half. And we'll walk our way through this. We'll see if it's working, how quickly it's working, and so on. Okay, there we go. So 25 here. Uh, we'll wait till these are delivered. Now, we need to take a look at our food. Uh, we're getting pop-ups. Why are we getting pop-ups? Uh, we've not selected any food. Okay, we know that. Just give us a second here. The game is all over it. So, again, we want our quality to be full. Uh, let's see. Rye, corn. None of these really seem to matter a whole lot. I mean, they all seem to give you the same amount. Okay, we'll just take the first four then. That gets us to... Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really seem to matter a whole lot. At least not off the... The bat here. So there we go. Rye, corn, sorghum, and buckwheat. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, there we go. The same four in each of these. And of course, they still haven't been delivered yet, which is perfectly fine because we don't have anywhere to store it. Uh, and let's see. We need to go into here. Uh, let's go to the rye first. There it is. And yes. There we go. Small silo. We're not going to build a small silo. We are going to build a large silo. So, yeah, we're going to build well, at least one and, and maybe multiple, quite frankly. Whatever we need to do will be perfectly fine with me. It's only 10 grand, so it's not a huge amount. We've got room uh, over in here somewhere if we need to put down another one. So no issue there. All right, let's go ahead and let this complete. Uh, do we have any fish yet? Oh, wait. We do have fish yet. How did we get fish? I didn't even see anybody deliver them. But we're already at 28. Is that right? Yes, it is. And we don't have any food yet. Okay, so it appears to be working. We'll keep an eye on it, though. I still can't believe they were delivered that quickly. But so be it. We'll take it. Uh, now we just need some food for them. All right, this production always takes a whole lot longer than what you want. All right, so we've got room for 50,000. Uh, let's do 10K each, and, and let's see if that works out. All right, so we're going to do 10,000. All right, that's, ooh, that's 15 grand. Okay, but it should last probably forever is what that's going to end up being. So let's go ahead and buy that. Okay, so that'll be our rye. Next up, we need our corn. And 10,000. Okay, that's going to be 13 grand. That's corn taken care of. Uh, sorghum. And same thing here. And of course, they may not use the same amount of each of these. Uh, so we're going to be pretty expensive. But again, we're not going to worry about that because we're going to do the same thing that, oh, seeing that uh, buckwheat honey brings back so many memories of working with the bees in the first game. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness, look at that. Yikes. 58 grand. I hope we got enough money for that. Okay, so there we go. How about how about we just spend a whole bunch of money? Still got 157 grand. So it's not like it is a huge deal. All right, so we've got three of these fish farms. And yeah, we're up to 38. Uh, these are, this is working like really quickly. Like now I'm, I'm really interested to see what happens with like pigs and cows if they work anywhere close to this quickly. Remember, we're just on standard time. I've not really been fast forwarding very much at all. Only long enough for our storage to be brought in. Okay, these guys should be bringing food. I thought you were bringing food. 
I, I really thought this guy was bringing food. Okay, clearly he is not. Uh, no, never mind. Maybe they just bring it to right there. And it's distributed from there. I don't know, but we got stuff in here now. So whatever was happening, uh, and you can see, we don't have anything there. Uh, now, let's go ahead and get our road work back up and going. Uh, can we do... No, we cannot. All right, so this one is out. Right? Yeah. Okay, so we can't do that. Uh, oh, this is going to aggravate me to no end because this is really going to mess things up. I can't do no, I can't do that. Okay, we'll work with it. We can make this work. I think I'm pretty sure we can make this work. All right, how much is in here right now? So right at the forty grand, which tells me that yeah, and and by these messages that tells me they still haven't come and got the food. Uh, so the workers, we do have our workers in there in all of these, don't we? Yes. All right. So here, here you can see our workers. Um, I really want to start playing around with the camera and really zooming in here. Unfortunately, I'm having some issues with the camera. It just, every time I start to try to get more of a perspective view uh, and more of a zoomed in view, the camera sort of glitches out some on me. So I'm going to have to work through that. But I would very much like to be uh, looking at these guys sort of almost in a first person view like we were walking down the street I got to work that out because I really want to do that uh, but so far it's almost like the camera just starts spinning it's 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 a weird weird event and I'm not sure what is causing it probably something I'm doing but uh, either way okay there we go so you can see right there very small amounts that they just take this is going to take forever to go through all of that food we just did but before I forget if that is the case I mean seriously 22 23 I mean I guess it makes sense but at the same time that is just wild look at this reproduction yikes there it's gonna be full all right never mind we just we can't be uh, playing around now I guess uh, let's go in here and see about the slaughterhouse because we are going to need to sell off some things. Where is our slaughterhouses? So we've got uh, fruit, vegetable, frozen food factory. Where's it at? Did I miss it? Or have I just not gotten to it yet? All right, there we go. Slaughterhouse. All right, 340 grand. That's okay. Uh, we can live with that. But, yikes. Um, I'm not even sure how many of these we're going to need for all the fish and as fast as they're working. We'll have to see what the numbers are. Uh, but right now, this is huge. Like, we're producing fish way too fast. Yikes. That is... So let's just take a, a quick look at, uh, let's say, just trout. I mean, well, it has to be trout meat. Uh, so, and of course, we know the frozen trout. I mean, that's, wow, that's printing money is what that is. That is exactly what that is. Uh, but let's make sure. It says trout meat right here. Can we sell this? Um, I don't know how we would. We, we're going to have to have... I was thinking maybe we could just sell... There we go. Can we do that? Like, without having to go to the slaughterhouse? Can we just do... Just sell the straight fish? I mean, in a way it makes sense, but in a way I kind of figured the game would make you go through extra steps as well. So, okay, let's find out. I mean, it's not like you can't go in real life to a fish market and buy the fish... Uh, before they've been filleted or, or whatever. So, yeah, maybe we can do that. Can I do that is the question. Uh, and the answer is, yeah. Yeah, I can. So, what are they doing here? So, it looks like once it gets full, or very close to full at least, it's dumping the excess out. 
as meat. Okay, I can live with that. I can uh, very much live with that, in fact. So let's set up for right now anyway. All right, so let's go. Oops, I did it again. There we go. Insert favorite song here. All right, trout meat. And there you are. So sell above zero. Sell it all for right now anyway. Oops, that's me. All right, so let's do that. Let's add this up here just for the time being. This will serve as my reminder. Okay, that's what we'll do with that. And then, okay, so we don't need a slaughterhouse. Uh, so we need a frozen, frozen, there we are. Uh, ooh, 500 grand, yikes. That is, okay, that's a lot. That's a lot we need, 500 grand. Uh, I'm trying to keep an eye out. We're going to start with the fast forward here. And also, the research. All right, so the research is done. All right, hold on just a minute. Let's let's slow down time. I'd see we've just sold the trout meat. Uh, that's really good. Unexpected, though. I really thought we were going to have to use the slaughterhouse for that, just for game purposes. All right, so now... Uh, what do we want? Unlock the third level for pigs. Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. It's only going to take uh, 60 days, so that's fine. I missed, totally missed the pop-up message there, but that's okay. All right, so now we've got that underway. You can see production is going along really well. There, I mean, fish are being produced, and at this point... All right, so what's happening here appears to be that every so often they do come and take them to um, well, warehouse maybe? Uh, yeah, there we go. All right, and that brings me to an interesting situation. So there's something over here in the, let's see, where was it? Garages. Nope, not garages, others. Logistics building. It gives your staff access to delivery trucks. I want to try this. I don't know if this is going to help us because right here, without getting out of this window, uh, you can see our guys are having to walk all the way over here. This logistics, I don't know how this works, but I want to try it. Uh, that is a huge building. Can we just say that for a moment? That is huge. I don't know how this is going to work uh, related to... Well, really everything about this. So do they have to now come over here and get this? I'm not sure. Uh, I want to try something here. Does this matter? All right, if I do that, and then I try to put down this logistics building right here, um, it's not going to let me. That's just not going to fit in there. Look at this. This is going to mess... Boy, this, this game is really playing with my grid here. Like, in every way. My, yeah, this is, this is no good. But we are going to work with it. We're going to make this happen. I feel like that's going to be the key. Is we need to get this logistics building uh, up and running. But I'm also noticing, if you take a look in the top left-hand corner, we're at 300 grand right now. 500 grand is where we get to the frozen food. And in case you need just a little bit of a reminder, let's take a look at the money difference. Trout meat, 354 per kilogram. Frozen trout, 45 per kilogram. Granted, there's extra cost involved, but I got to believe we're basically going to be printing money with that. We just need a half million. And in fact... Let's hop in here. Can we get loans? Oh, yeah, the loans are back. Uh, let's go ahead and take the half million loan. All right, let's go ahead and slow things down just for a second. Not that it really matters a whole lot, but let's see. All right, look at this. Like, this is huge. 
All right, this is going to mess things all up. I mean, <laughs> this is just going to make it everywhere. Okay, well, so much for that. I mean, we're just going to have to go with it here. Again, we've got plenty of land in this game. We're just going to make it happen here. This is where, again, for those of you who are OCD or are really concerned with efficiencies and that kind of thing, then I'm so sorry. Because this is, I know it's going to drive you nuts. Uh, also, what about electricity? I got to think we're going to need electricity over here as well. And let's see. What does that give us? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're going to need electricity over here. So let's go ahead and drop this. Where is the nearest? There it is. Okay, and yeah, the lines are kind of wonky here, but uh, I think that'll work. Uh, and now I'm a little bit worried about our workers having to go that far. That is going to bother me a little bit. Uh, I'm expecting that we're probably going to have to have at least two of these facilities, but we're going to find that out. Again, there's so many numbers, and if you really get down to it and spreadsheet this thing, uh, then I'm sure, I have no doubt that you could find out exactly the most efficient way of doing this, but we're going to sort of eyeball this, and I believe that we're going to need... Uh, two of these is probably going to be the safe bet. And then we may do like we did uh, with the cow's milk, and we'll just sell off the excess. And, okay, here we go. So I'm going to leave it on fast forward for right now. All right, let's see what we've got. What do we need? We need four people. And do I really... I really don't want them to go that far. I really, really don't. But, um, I guess it's just going to have to be that way right now. Oh, as much as I don't want that to be the case. All right, let's go hire four people. And manufacturing, you're hired. Manufacturing, you're hired. Uh, let's see. Manufacturing, you're hired. And manufacturing, let's see. Do I have somebody else? Always got to give it that quick glance. Nope. Nobody. So manufacturing, you are hired. All right. So Jessica, let's see. We got 354 grand, so we're perfectly fine there. Now, let's slow this down for a second because, uh, let's see. I need to adjust this. Uh, let's actually take that off and don't sell those off right now. Okay, oops, we got some more training to do. So Jessica should be done. Let's get everybody else. Alexander, okay, just did that. And Muhammad is already there. Awesome. And then Bonnie. Couple for her. All right, let me just give it a quick glance here. Did we get Jessica? Okay, everybody's good. So let's go ahead and assign all four of those. Uh, we want to change production and we want it to be somewhere in here. Uh, let's see, trout meat to frozen trout. So 100 turns into 50. Not sure how that math works, but uh, we'll go with it either way. It's still going to be a ton. It says maximum production 1500 kilograms in a month. Now that's going to be interesting. All right, we'll keep that in mind. So trout meat. Uh, and I'm not crazy about him having to go over here. This is really, really making it much more likely that I'm about to build uh, this logistics building. All right, I think we've got everything we need. We've got workers. We've got our production. These guys should get on with it a little bit there. Uh, but yeah, I, my grid and the efficient use of land is just about to go out the window. If I was doing good at all over here, that is basically gone at this point. So what I plan to do is we're going to put another uh, frozen food right here. Because I got to think, I mean, as much as these guys are producing, I got to think this is almost a one-to-one -one ratio as we've seen uh, over with uh, the cows and the milk. 
I've got to think that's what's going to happen. All right, so I'm keeping an eye out on our uh, money as we are. The end is drawing nigh for today's video. As always, we have accomplished a lot today. Uh, and something I've never done before. So, yeah, this has been pretty interesting. But it's also telling me our distances are getting way too long here. I'm not terribly happy about that. So... We're going to keep going. So these guys are going through. I'm trying to keep an eye out here, but this is going to be an ongoing thing here. We're going to have to figure all of this out, and uh, we'll do some more of that when we come back. But for today, thank you so much for joining me, and stick around for more Farm Manager 2021.